tonight's big story. Same sex couple celebrating an historic day, but also voicing concerns. And they tell our Joe Chioto the state's appeal has them feeling uneasy. It's pretty much the most special day that we've had. And so when I look at the pictures, it doesn't matter to me where we got married. Eric Thompson and Henry Krieger got married a year and a half ago. Then they had to go to Iowa. Their excited many are closer to doing this right here in Nebraska, but they still feel cautious. It's not just being married. It's everything that comes along with it. A reminder that without this ruling, they would have to continue filing taxes as if they're single. And that's not all that's hinging on it. In the event that one of us were to pass on, that we can legally transfer all of our estate to the other. They say this is just the beginning, and the plaintiffs in this case echo that. Once we get the freedom to marry, then there's the foster care laws, and there's the uh, the anti-discrimination in the workplace, and then there's the winning the hearts and the minds of everybody in Nebraska. Nick Kramer and his husband Jason say the state's appeal of Monday's ruling makes them fear for the fate of their daughter Alice. Constant worry about what could happen to her if something should happen to me, I'm not sure one more day can can wait. Tracy Weiss is another plaintiff. When we signed our house paperwork and we signed it as buying it as two single women, um, it, it's, it's weird to think how that feels, how your whole life is sort of stripped. Inside Eric and Henry's home, they know that feeling well. But they say for them, there's no mistaking today. But I'm very, very happy. I'm excited. I'm excited. Is a good day. And we're here at District Court now where uh, the uh, Judge Battalion put a one week stay on that ruling in order to give time for the state to appeal. And the state did appeal. The Attorney General filed that just within an hour of the ruling. From here, it will now go to the Eighth Circuit Court. And barring a stay in that court, couples could get married starting a week from today. Reporting live, Joe Chioto, WWT 6 News. Now, both the Attorney General and Governor Pete Ricketts held a joint news conference after announcing the appeal. Ricketts says voters made their opinions clear 15 years ago, and this isn't the right way to the amend the state's constitution. We'll deal with the facts we have on the table, which is in 2000 we passed a constitutional amendment that said 70, that by 70 percent of the people that said marriage is defined between one man and one woman, and that's what the Attorney General and I are here to defend today. And I can tell you from talking to people all across the state that Nebraskans I have spoken with believe that traditional marriage is what they're supporting. Archbishop George Lucas co-signing a statement in reaction. It says in part, we are disappointed that Judge Joseph Battalion granted an injunction today that presumes to nullify what God has written on human hearts. Goes on to say this undermines the right of every child to know their mother and father.